hello my wonderful people welcome back to my channel my name is Lilian's mindset to my new subscribers to my old subscribers thank you and welcome back in today's show I'm going to share with you guys 12 things to never tell your friends 12 things to never tell your friends about your relationships this message is one that we have all heard about one time or the other whether it was a parent a teacher or some actual friend who felt out of the loop the person delivering the message was trying to get us to keep our secrets to ourselves but within our close group of friends there is an unwritten rule of the confidentiality it is with this notion that you feel free to share every last detail of your life with the people you trust the most. Where should you draw the line though? There must be certain parts of your life that should remain behind closed doors, right? Absolutely. Your relationship with your spouse, boyfriend or girlfriend is where you should draw the line in the sound. There are certain things that your friends just don't need to know for good or bad better or worse the final details of your most important relationship needs to stay in house below you will find 12 such topics that are off limits for those happy hour gap session thank you for listening so number one money issues Money is a sensitive subject for just about anyone who doesn't have a million dollars in the bank. If you and your partner are having issues, saving or paying off debt, there's no one's business but yours. You two should work together to figure out a plan to make it work. If you need some help, figuring it out seek advice from an object party by spilling the information to your friends you are betraying the trust on the person you are with be tight-lipped on this one number two your partners or your transgressions if one of you cheated you are trying to make it work telling your friends about it we most definitely derail the process stepping out on the one you love is a universal negative in the world we live in so you will only be inviting judgment into your relationship no matter how you try to retaliate it with your friends they won't understand your perspective walk through it with your partner only number three anything that you haven't cared to share with your partner he's not great in bed she's a pushover if there's some feeling that you have about the person that you are with but you haven't had a conversation with them about it then it is off limits for outside conversations don't use your partner's shortcomings as stand-up comedy material for you and your buddies if there's something that bothers you about your wife or husband be honest with them about it number four naked selfies and things of the like if there's some intimate details of your relationship like some nude photos or racy emails being sent there's no need to show any of your friends your boyfriend girlfriend husband or wife doesn't need to say for your eyes only with each juicy message they send it is implied understand that they are trying to turn you on not become a topic of conversation with your social circle number five your partner's past maybe he cheated maybe she had an ugly divorce with her ex no matter what the issue is there is no need to broadcast it just because she has accepted the past
number six what you do behind closed doors with the person you love should remain behind closed doors to be sexual and intimate with someone is one of the most vulnerable acts a human can expose themselves to sharing the details decreases the value of those intimate moments with your partner no one needs to know how many times you have done it in the past month and how tame or wide it is. If the two of you are happy with how it goes down, it is all that matters. Number seven, something they have shared with you in confidentially. It should be understood that the level of confidentiality with your spouse, boyfriend or girlfriend is as high as it gets. It is a safe space where they can share about their friends, family or co-workers without worrying that what they have said will be heard by anyone else. If they find out that something they have said found its way into the air of someone that isn't you, the trust in your relationship will be broken. If you love, if you broke that trust, you are then encouraging them to keep their thoughts to themselves. This will lead to more secrets, white lies, and a battlefield of discontent. Keep the safe space safe. Number eight, details of the latest fight. No one is perfect, not you, not your partner, and certainly not your friends and family. Even though we all are aware of this, we all judge those that make mistakes. If you and your partner got into a fight, there's, that's your business by telling your social circle or your family you are opening the door for judgment. It doesn't matter who was at fault for the fight. Find a way to fix the problem within your relationship because by sharing the details, you are guaranteeing yourself another fight soon. Telling anyone willing to listen won't solve the problem. Working on it with the person you love will. Number nine, that awful gift they got you. It is one thing to dislike the gift they got you. It is even worse when you tell all your pals about it. Two things couldn't have happened when they got you that gift. They tried really hard to find something you like and they mixed the mark. They didn't put too much thought into it and the result shows. If it is option one, give them a break. They tried. They are going to feel terrible that they didn't do well and telling your friends will only make it worse. If it is option two, have a conversation with your partner, not your crew. Tell them that you don't appreciate that they didn't put much thought in what they got you. You can't win by using the misfortune of a bad gift as gossip while having a drink with friends. Number 10. Your partner's insecurities. I may sound like a broken record here, but your marriage or relationship is a sacred safe space. Maybe your husband is a little overweight. Maybe your wife is an introvert and isn't a big fan of social events. Don't tarnish the trust of your relationship by making these private pieces of them public. It is hard enough for them to share that insecurity with you. Watching you share it with others will undoubtedly break the heart. Number 11. How they feel about your friends. This information is on a need to know basics and your friends most definitely don't need to know. If your partner isn't a fan of your friends, it is not the end of the world. They are your friends, not theirs. As long as everyone is civil, that's all that matters. Want to know how to turn things from civil to destructive? 
tell all your friends that your guy or girl doesn't enjoy their company. Number 12. Issues with the in-laws. When you got married, you aren't just merging the lives of two people. You are joining the lives of two families. What happens within the relationship of those two families shouldn't be broadcast to your inner circle. Some people have amazing relationship with their in-laws. Others have problems from time to time. Don't let your friends in on which camp you reside in. I will stop this video here and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.